Welcome to Educator.com's English Composition course. And one of the most important things we have to learn how to write is to make things shorter, also known as how to write a summary. Summaries are like magic. They shrink things down. I want you to look at this article. Do you want to read all this? Can, do you have time to read all this? Do you think that I could go through this entire lecture and read this word for word? No, that's way too much reading right now. So what if I just read this instead? Samuel Langhorne Clemens, a.k.a. Mark Twain, was a popular American author. He was born in Missouri, where many of his stories take place. He struggled financially, but later overcame his debts. He was born when Halley's Comet was visible and died on his next return. Well, that was much easier, wasn't it? Well, what I do? Well, I just summarized. And that's what you do when you are writing something and you don't want to quote a large block. You just want to quote part of it. So what is summary, summarization? Well, first off, more important, why do we need it? Well, we need it for those research papers. Later, you're going to be reading several sources. You're going to read book after book after book and article after article after article and you're going to need to write in your writing what are the main, most important and main points of these articles and books in a few sentences because you don't expect your reader to read the whole thing. So that's why you summarize. Likewise, book reports. Whenever you're writing a book report in school, you have to summarize parts of the story and put it shorter and you know, take 20 pages and make it one paragraph so that your teacher isn't reading the whole book. Now, outside of school, there are still times when we need to summarize. Working in an office, being an administrative assistant, is one of the most important places where people have to summarize. Political aides. Bi presidents are busy people, and so are governors, and so are congresswomen, and so are senators. And they have an army of aides around them to read important documents and then summarize it for them so that they don't have to read the whole thing. Also, Maybe someday you'll just start your own blog. I mean, who knows? And maybe you'll read something and you'll want to talk about it, but you're not just going to quote the entire article. You're going to quote a little bit of it, right? So the plan for this lesson is a couple things. First, just like with reading, we're going to talk about skimming and scanning. And then we're going to go over details. Finally, I'm going to introduce you to asking the right kind of questions and then we're going to learn how to summarize a three-act story.